aircraft, although they are closely related, two very different engines as well. The pugnacious radial Pratt & Whitney R1830 Twin Wasp at 1,050 horsepower on the Hawk 75A1, contrasting with the 1,300 horsepower inline Packard-built Merlin on the P40F. Both of these are unique airworthy specimens of their types in Europe. service with the Americans in April the following year. Quite soon, the P-36, of which the fighter collection also has a P-36C example in its fleet was obsolete. At least as far as the US Army Air Corps was concerned. By that point, Curtis already had its new P-40 family of fighters under development. Nonetheless, a few P-36s that were stationed at Pearl Harbor at the time of the Japanese attack on the 7th of December 1941 saw the type's only combat in American service Managing to shoot down a pair of Mitsubishi A6M0 fighters of the Imperial Japanese Naval Air Force. But this was an aircraft that was very successful on the export market, and it's in one of its export geysers that supplied to the French that we see here. France ordered several different marks of Model 75, starting off with aircraft like this, the 75A1. And it became the standard fighter of the French Air Force, the Armée de l'Air when war broke out. like this, shooting down a pair of Messerschmitt the F-109s on the 8th of September 1939. Of all the fighters available to the French at the time of the Battle of France, it was probably the best, and seven Hawk 75 pilots of the French Air Force achieved a status. having previously flown against 
Axis fighters during the Battle of France. It flew against Allied aircraft. Torch, the Allied landings in North Africa in November 1940, in late 2004. But here comes the P-40F. Sally B. 